Call me crazy, but can we bring back love? You know, the kind when a man and a woman meet and the chemistry is there and we talk for hours on the phone or we can't stand not being with each other's company and we want to be around each other and I give you a phone call just to say hi, just to see how you're doing, you know, support each other mentally, physically and emotionally, you know, just start glowing because you're in love and you're making it work because you love that person and you know, you're just on cloud nine feeling all giddy because you're in love instead of the my pride is too big and I'm not fighting for you because of my pride and I'm just going to let you go and I don't feel like fighting for you because I've been hurt too many times type thing Call. well I mean sis to be honest men have not changed for the most part it's women Women think that they're better than men. Women think that there's always going to be a better model around the corner. It's just like taking a woman to a shoe store. She sees one pair of shoes on sale and, and, they're, and they're red. But she sees the same pair of shoes on sale that are green and that are white and that are black. Odds are she wants them all. That's the same type of mentality that women have in the dating market. They always are looking for the bigger, better deal because they all lie to each other saying that there's bigger, better deals around the corner and that they all deserve bigger, better deals. See, there's no empathy. There's no character. There's no um, self-respect for a lot of these women. There's no honor. There's no commitment. Everything is based on money and material things and who can get the best man or who can steal the man from this woman because they all think they deserve all the top tier men most of these women are sleeping with the same percentage of men but then they label all other men as dogs the average man is not good enough for the average woman that's the problem what you're describing is from traditional times which I think we should all go back to because that is what got us to where we are now. Even all these women that run around saying, oh, those women back then were slaves and those women couldn't do this and those women couldn't do that. But yet they're the benefit of those women's struggle. They're the benefit of those women in their past. None of them would be sitting here without those women and the sacrifices that those women made for their families but they want to call those women weak and stupid, sellouts, uh, pick me's, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So in order for these things to change, women have to change. But unfortunately, I don't think that they will because it's just too easy for them to just keep going down the same path that they're on. It's too easy for them to just believe all this nonsense that all these other women keep telling them. It's too easy for them. And unfortunately, some of them do get to the point where, you know, they're older. Now, she, she looks like, I see a couple gray hair. She's still a pretty woman and all this and that. But she's clearly older. And unfortunately, a lot of women wait till they get to this stage. To all of a sudden want to be that traditional archetype. And it's too late. You have to be that when you're at your prime. You have to be that when you have the best options. You can't try to be that after you didn't ran through the wall, after you didn't had all these kids, after you didn't accumulated all these bodies. It's too late because now you have too much experience. What you need to understand as women is that men don't want women with a lot of experience. Women want men with a lot of experience. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.